Welcome back. Now, malnutrition or lack of sufficient nutrients in the body is the cause of nearly half of all deaths in children under five years. In Kenya, the counties of Turkana and Nairobi carry the highest severe malnutrition burden. But what if this silent killer could be detected at its earliest stages when it's easier and less expensive to save a child's life? Well, tonight on our feature, Apokot Aoi, or the life-saving strip, Dorcas Wangira demonstrates how a simple device is helping caregivers in Turkana and Nairobi to detect Protect childhood malnutrition before it is too late. The sun's rays rain in Lokamar Kori village, Loima sub county, Turkana. In the sweltering heat, 35 year old Agnes Sekai isn't just weaving a reed mat. She is telling her life's story strand by strand. It takes almost an entire day to complete just one mat, like this one sharply juxtaposed against her cracked, caloused feet. At best, it will fetch 100 shillings when sold at the market. And from this sustenance, she has to feed her three children, Ekitela, her six-year-old son, Akurai, her three-year-old daughter, and Nakua, her one-year-old son, who is still breastfeeding. <coughs> When Nakua is hungry, he cries or motions that he wants to breastfeed. But how does Agnes tell if her children are not just hungry but also malnourished? Sometime back in the 80s, people knew about marasmas and kwashioko because those were the uh, conditions that presented into the facilities quite often. So there were little or no mechanisms for early detection. The opposite of good nutrition would be malnutrition. But it encompasses three different types of deficiencies. There is the protein energy deficiency, but then there is the hidden hunger that we call a micronutrient deficiency. For example, you will lack some micronutrients, say iron deficiency. We call them hidden because it's not very easy to tell. So there could be a problem of overweight or obesity. It's not very easy to tell that a child is malnourished uh, unless that child is um, a severely malnourished or having complications. If a child is chronically malnourished, the, the nutritional status may not be reversed. For example, stunting. Once a child is stunted, there is nothing we can do about it. So, how can a mother and caregiver like Agnes detect malnutrition? One is to see if her children have peating or edema. That is, when a swollen part of your body has a dimple or peat, after you press it for a few seconds. Children who are severely malnourished will have um, accumulation of, of, of fluid. That is a complication in itself. Child who has edema has very high uh, risk of death. None of her children have peating edema. <laughs> Sometimes, to tell if a child is aged below five, particularly for vaccination drives, a health worker would ask the child to stretch the arm from one ear to the other. If the arm goes past the ear, the child is past the age of five. If not, he or she is below the age. So, Agnes pulls out a strip. It has three measures, yellow, red and green. She winds it round Nakua's upper arm until it's hold like a noose measures its circumference. The measure falls in the yellow bar. She repeats the same, this time with a kurai. And once again, her measure is yellow. Selina Ekitela, a mother of four, pulls out a strip similar to Agnes's. She tells us it is called a pokota we, which translates to a family strip. This family muak or mother-led muak, as it is also sometimes called, is a community screening approach which empowers mothers, caregivers, and other family members to screen their own children for acute malnutrition using color-coded muak tapes. Red, less than 11 centimeters, means a child has severe acute malnutrition, that is, very low weight for height, and should immediately be referred for treatment. 
yellow color between 12.5 cm and 13.5 cm indicates that the child is at risk for acute malnutrition and should be counseled and followed up for growth promotion and monitoring. Green color over 13.5 cm indicates that the child is well nourished. Mothers, caregivers of children under the age of five are trained by community health volunteers to use the MUAC measurement only on children 6 to 59 months of age. So, I have a mother who is here, 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 I have a mother who is In fact, the MUAC tip is the best tool to predict um, malnutrition. This simplified MUAC tape color-coded without calibrations is easier to use even with the caregivers who are not literate. The caregiver is then advised to measure the child after every two weeks and take the child to hospital when the child falls on red or yellow measurements of the family MUAC as a self-referral. <laughs> Family Muak started during West Africa's Ebola outbreak in the no-touch policy. It was first introduced in the nutrition sector in Kenya in 2016 in a study that was conducted in Isiolo. Currently, the intervention is being scaled up in 15 counties. In Turkana, the prevalence of malnutrition is 25.6%, meaning that one in every four children is malnourished. Turkana is one of the counties in Kenya where children below the age of five are either severely malnourished or moderately malnourished. But hunger and malnutrition is not just a problem in the Asals and the rural areas. Nairobi County, which has a dense population, is one of the counties with a high and acute malnutrition burden. 27-year-old Mary Atieno, who lives in Bonde, Madai 4B, has also taken a nine-month-old infant, Kenya Kelia, through the difficult process of treating malnutrition. From birth up to one year. Then from that, I can chakula. From that point, I can chakula. I can up to 6.5 kg. So when you land out, I can go check to Kasema. She's underweight and uh, malnourished as well. In Nairobi, over 13,000 households have benefited in Madhari. Approximately 13,500 caregivers in Samburu and over 200 children have been treated for acute malnutrition, courtesy of the family MUAC intervention including Mandera, which according to a Save the Children survey, leads in moderate acute malnutrition, Turkana, which is second, and Nairobi, third. In Nairobi, the prevalence of malnutrition, according to Save the Children, is 3.9%, meaning that one in every 25 children is malnourished. Severe acute malnutrition often requires a child to be admitted and taken through a complicated 10-step process recommended by WHO. As an eighth step, ready-to-use therapeutic food RUTF is used, one which is high in energy and protein and eaten even eight times a day. This crucial eight step of RUTF given at the local clinic is what has helped Tiana regain weight and move from red to yellow. She's improving. And the last time Linda was here, Linda was like 0.2 kg. So now I feel poor. And at least she will be like other children. Even though child malnutrition is a prominent chapter in Turkana's story, its changing face of green kitchen gardens sprouting and thriving in the desert is another promising one. In Nasechabwe in Kayabui location, Turkana North, 30-year-old Joy Sakai Langole rises with the sun to tend her garden. She is a mother of four. Besides stealing the land to grow her food, Joyce would also source for fish from Lake Turkana to meet the demand in the community. Her smoked fish is not just a protein staple and part of a family diet. It supplements her income. Lakini <laughs> 
At high noon, Joyce prepares a meal for the family. I can talk about uh, maybe diet diversity, but when I don't show the community how they can be able to produce this food, I will just be saying nothing. So when I go with maybe somebody in agriculture, they will show them how to maybe have the kitchen gardens. Then the water person can provide, make the water available for the two to work. Later in the day, Yusuf Lokwawi, a community health volunteer, takes them work tape measurements to ascertain that her daughter Maureen is well nourished. In a matter of minutes, Maureen's measure is in the green range. She is healthy and needs to stay this way. What we are hoping for, every other community hopes for that and it is my belief that uh, one day one time we will be malnutrition free. Child malnutrition continues to be one of the biggest contributors to deaths of children aged under five and to slow recovery from illness. It is important that mothers and caregivers are empowered to tell if a child is malnourished. Dorcas Wangira, Citizen TV.